typically companies have different businesses to serve. Take the example of a sugar company delivering commodity sugar in bulk towards industrial food companies as Coca-Cola, as well as customized sugar in two gram sachets to a hotel chain. A one-size-fits-all approach can no longer meet those different requirements. So start analyzing the differences in supply chain characteristics, assess the different customer needs, and look to group your products and customers into two to five homogeneous segments. Next, you define players, which describe how to approach each of the different segments. Delivering the bulk commodity sugar of the above example will happen via a segment that is set up around the concept of lean. Think of big batches, direct deliveries, and collaborative processes ensuring steady flow. Customized sugars packed in sachets rather fit into a value added segment, organized around flexibility. Segmentation helps to reduce the complexity of the processes, it enables companies to respond to right customer needs, and it improves the cost efficiency. The next step read the checklist on supply chain segmentation on the website of Supply Chain Movement. It helps to assess your need for a segmented supply chain.